In this video, I paint the cleaved colour scheme for the Chaos Space Marines. Hello Bits Brood, it's Craig from bitsbox.co.uk here, and in this video, I'm going to be painting up the cleaved colour scheme for the Chaos Space Marine Renegade Legion. So this is the um, colour scheme that I'm going with, with the brand new Chaos Space Marines, so I'm sort of Starting a new army of them, I've been hour on hour about what um, legion to paint, and I've decided to go with these. As I've just done a few test color schemes, and I actually quite liked it, so I thought I'd share with you guys how I paint them. So before we begin, as always, if you're new to this channel and you like all things hobby related, then do feel free to hit that subscribe button. And before we begin, as always, just a big shout out to all our patrons. So thank you guys so much for all your support, and if you want to see what our Patreon is all about, there is a link down below in the description. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we have our Chaos Space Marine Merger. He has been primed in a grey undercoat. Now you can use um, white, black or grey here, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start by taking some Rakath Flesh and I'm basically just going to coat this over the entire merger. So I've it down just a little bit and I will do two coats of this just to get a nice smooth finish. If you're going over black you may even need three but um, two certainly over grey. And once you've got a nice smooth base coat we can take some Abaddon black and this is to paint uh, the weapons. Here's um, Tabard's going to be black as well. And any other areas that you wish to paint black And I do only just do one coat of this. So if the black area is done, then I'm going to take some lead belcher to paint all the silver areas. Now it's up to you whether you paint all the trim silver. I have seen this scheme painted with silver trim, and I've also seen it painted without the trim being painted different to the rest of the armour. Personally I like to paint the trim silver, which is what I'm going to do here. Also going to paint the metal on the weapons, the knife blade, etc. as well. There's belt buckle there also. There's also um, little bits of chain mail. Again, anything that's going to be silver. Next we're going to take some corn red. So this is for the areas that are going to be red. So he's got this little tassel thing here. I'm also going to paint his belt red. And on some of these miniatures, when they, um, some of them I'm going to paint the tabards red, but on this one I've done it black. So with all these areas now done, I'm going to take some Agrax Earthshade and I'm going to cover the whole of the miniature with some Agrax Earthshade here. This will really bring out all the detail, put some nice shadows in all those recesses. It will also darken the armour a little bit but we can lighten that back up in the next step. You could also use Chaos Black in this stage if you want um, darker and deeper recesses. They'll also give you a cleaner look to the metal. But once that's dry, you can see it's really brought out all the detail. So now we're going to come back with our Rakar Flesh and we're going to paint all these armor panels again. But this time being more selective, so we keep the darker and um, washed Rakar Flesh in all the recesses. And I thinned it out here just to give myself more control and you may need two coats here so this is probably the most time consuming step of painting these miniatures but the end result is certainly well worth it and you can see I'm just carefully with a thin day wreck our flesh just going around and as you can see when that's dry it really brightens them up and makes all the detail stand out so we're going to highlight these areas with some powdered witch flesh I'm just going to do a little edge highlight. Tiny little little edges. There's not many really because the trim takes up a lot of the edges. But you can see there's some on the feet here. Of course if you were to paint the trim the same colour as the armour, then you would go around and edge highlight all that in this stage instead. And again I thinned that out just to give myself more control. So next we're going to take some Caraberg Crimson, so this colour scheme has sort of sort of oil and stuff running off the armour which is 
what sort of um, appealed to me. So I'm just going to very carefully just take some caraboid crimson and just paint sort of streaks of oil running from just random parts of the armour. Try not to overdo it here, less is certainly more. And after painting it a little while, I did notice it sort of builds up a little bit towards the bottom. Um, when I've painted some more of these since recording this video, I've actually been turning the miniature upside down and then painting top to bottom that way. So that, that means when it pulls up on the miniature, it pulls up at the top rather than the bottom and that looks a little bit better. And you'll see what I mean if you do this yourself. So we're going to do the same with the phone and camera shade here. Just to add a little bit more variety of colour. Of course you could really use any colour you so wish. For all these streaks you could use um, browns, even blues. Anything that you wish. Just add a little bit of colour. I think purples would look quite good as well. But just experiment. I'll probably do different colours on different miniatures in the future as well. Just to give them some variation. But the Ekphonian camera shade really works against the bone. So, with the armour done, it's just a case of highlighting the other areas. So we're going to take some Runefang steel just to highlight all the silver areas. And again, I'm just running an edge highlight. Just down these teeth blades and around the trim. So again, this is another sort of lengthy step, but the end result's certainly well worth it. And I'll brighten up these metal areas a little bit. And it's up to you if you don't want them to be too bright. You could come in with a darker silver to highlight, but I quite like using the brighter ones. Next, we're going to highlight the red areas with Evil Sun Scarlet. So this will really bring out the detail on this tassel here, just hitting all the higher points. I also use this colour to paint the eyes. If I was putting a little bit more effort into these, I would go with corn red and then highlight with the Evil Sun Scarlet. But as I'm just going for tabletop standard here, just straight Evil Suns in the eyes is all you need. And lastly, we're going to take some Eschen Grey just to highlight all the black areas. And again, if you're going for a bit of a higher standard than just the tabletop standard that I'm doing on these rank and file guys, then you could come in with some Administratum Grey after this step. Just an extreme highlight on all the sharper edges. And that's certainly something I would do on characters and such. And with that, he is complete. So, pretty quick and easy really to paint. The um, Rekha Flesh Steps do take a little bit longer. Um, I don't have my turntable, I've packed it up somewhere and I can't find it. So I'm just spinning them around by hand against this black background. But Hopefully you guys can see him okay. And of course you can base them in your choice. And it will be done. But yeah, really happy with this. And I look forward to painting up many more of these. So, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, then please do leave them down below. I'm always happy to take suggestions for tutorials, whether it be conversion or painting tutorials. And yeah, all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all again in the next video. If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.